In this video, I'll show you how you can use WeTransfer on iPhone. I'll show you how you can upload files and then share those files with other people. So first head over to Google, we'll then just do a Google search for WeTransfer and it should be the first one that appears here. So just go ahead and click on that and it will take you into WeTransfer. Now you may have to accept their terms and conditions, so just accept them if any terms come up. But from here you can go ahead and then click send a file and then that will open this window where you can click on the upload files button. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you, do you want to upload from your photo library? Take a photo or choose files. Now, obviously, if you want to upload a video or a photo, you would click photo library. If you need to upload a file, click choose files. Now, once you've got your file here, you can then go ahead and choose what file you want to upload. So I'm just going to choose the money manual, select it and then click open. You can also select multiple files. but I'm just going to select one and then open it. So now we can give this a title if we wanted to, but it's automatically filled in the title. So that's good enough for me. I'm going to add a message. I'll just put hello and then we can go ahead and click next. Now you can either send the file via email or you can get a link which you can share with the recipient. I like to send it via email because that means you don't have to message the person that will just get an email and everything will be recorded. You sent via email, but you can also just send them a link if you wanted to. For the email section, just click send an email then click transfer and it's going to ask you here email to and your email put your recipient's email in the top one and then put your email at the bottom so they know who sent it then once you're happy with that click transfer and it should go ahead and then send over that file now before that happens they are going to have to confirm your email address so here you can see we've got the code 561429 so just enter in the code 561429 then click verify and once you've verified that it's you, it's then going to upload the file to WeTransfer. Now that file has been uploaded and it's been finalized, it's then going to send the recipient an email with a link to download that file. So you can see you're done. We now should get an email with that file. So here is that email. The recipient will then click get your files open with Chrome or any web browser. And then they could just download it here. So that's how you do it. I hope that helped you out.